Hi everybody. So today I just have my February favorites for you and these are going to be the top 10 of February. So I have 9 beauty products and then 1 just favorite of the month. So if you don't want to watch that, I'll tell you what it ends. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with my favorite makeup products of the month. First one, my favorite eyeshadows of the month and it is the Wet n Wild um, Eyeshadow Palette in Petal Pusher. I've done a tutorial on this. Um, I don't think this is going to be like a new thing that people are really that surprised about. I love this. I've talked about it in like three videos now. Um, they're just beautiful colors, wonderful quality, and I love them. I've been wearing them a lot, especially around Valentine's Day, um, since they're like pinks and purples, and um, they're like the perfect spring palette. Okay, my next favorite makeup product of the month. Sorry, my subject's bunching up or something. I don't know. Anyway, my next favorite beauty product, well, makeup product, is a mascara, and it is the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This is also my favorite for the month of January. I just love this mascara. It's really amazing. Gives you the most amazing false eyelash look effect. Um, I just have the regular waterproof one just the purple packaging with the teal writing and then I also just bought a new one and it is the um, waterproof black drama one and it is in the purple tube with the black writing if you are interested. These are really amazing. Um, it is mascara you do have to work with a little bit so it will take you longer to apply but you're also going to get an effect with it that you won't get with um, any other mascara or at least any other mascara that I've tried. So. I definitely recommend these. Really amazing. The third product is something that I got in my Birch Box. And it was like I got about halfway through the month, so it's kind of cheating because I didn't have it for the whole month of February. But um, it's something that I really, really liked from the Birch Box. And it is the NARS Illuminator in Orgasm. It's this really pretty peachy pink color. Um, and it's just the most pretty, or the most pretty, the prettiest highlight. Um, slash blush. I mean, you could use it for pretty much anything, um, cheek wise or even on your eyelid. I would assume. I've used it as like a brow bone highlight, cheek highlight up. Um, I don't know above your brow bone, whatever that is. Cupid's bow and down the center of my nose too. It's just very, very beautiful. So there's a little swatch in my hand. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Because it is fairly light. I mean, it's supposed to look like a natural kind of glow. So, that's my third um, makeup item. Third favorite of the month. My fourth are my two drugstore foundations that I bought this month. The first one is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup. And the second is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I just counted these as one. Um, since they are both just foundations. Um, I really like the Color Stay to mix with my Mary Kay and wear it on like a daily basis. It really helps my Mary Kay foundation last longer and keeps my makeup on for the whole day. So I really like that. And then the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, I love the finish of. It's more of a satin slash dewy finish. Um, it just looks like your natural skin. It's very beautiful, very easy to blend. Um, you don't have to work with it more than like the Color Stay or my Mary Kay one. But you also get this beautiful full coverage finish that you're not going to get with other foundations. So I really like that and I definitely love the kind of dewy, satiny finish of it. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't last very long so I only wear it like on the weekends or if I'm going out, anything like that. Okay, my fifth product, somewhat of a makeup product, it's more of like a skincare product. And it is the Skinnavia No More Shine Makeup Finish. Um, finishing spray? What is it called? Oh, Weightless Mist. I have a review over this too. I really, really like this stuff. Um, I had to include it in my favorites since I use it every day. It's been helping my foundation last longer. Um, it's been helping control the oil on my face and also making it so I don't break out as often since the oil is not sitting on my face and soaking into my pores and all of that kind of stuff. So this is really awesome, really amazing. I definitely recommend it. Um, I can't live without it now that I've used it and it just it makes the biggest 
difference in your makeup application and the wear of your makeup throughout the day. Okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry, my camera is having problems. So, um, this is my sixth item. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, sixth item. It's a skincare item, and it is the cleansing and makeup removing towelettes from Walgreens. They're just the Walgreens brand. Um, they're like the brand, the store brand of like the Neutrogena ones. Um, these are really awesome. I've used them before. I just kind of rediscovered them this month. They work really, really amazing. Um, they have kind of like a quilted side that helps to get all the makeup off your skin. And um, they also are very, very soothing and non-irritating towards sensitive skin. You can use them over your eye area and it'll just remove all the makeup without irritating your skin. So I definitely like those as well. Okay, my next two products are hair products. And the first one um, is something I've used before and I just kind of rediscovered it as well. And it is the TG Catwalk Root Boost Spray for Texture and Lift. It's in this blue container. I've used this almost every day. Um, just, I, I've had it for quite a long time. I bought it like last summer. And I don't know, I just kind of found it again and I love it. It works really amazing to give your hair just some extra volume um, and to also help control like oil in your hair um, and to just keep the volume in your hair all day. Um, it has a really, really amazing smell as well. It's kind of like a, I don't know, fruity, almost like watermelon smell. It's really nice and it doesn't ever irritate my scalp like um, some kind of root boost products can. If they have a lot of alcohol, they end up kind of burning my scalp after a while, but this one I can use every day and it never irritates my scalp. Okay, the next one is the Moroccan oil oil treatment. I had to include this. I bought all the Moroccan oil hair care this month. I totally love them. Love everything about them. <sighs> Come here, kitty. Okay, we're good. Anyway, love the Moroccan oil hair care. Definitely recommend it. I have a full review video of it. Um, if you want to check it out, just look on my channel. Okay, I think these are the last two like beauty related ones. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, apparently I have ten beauty products and then I'll have my extra little last one. So the next one is the scent of the month that I've been wearing and it is the Victoria's Secret Berry Kiss Body Lotion and then the perfume that goes along with it. I also have the Body Butter and I've been using that as well. Just the whole Berry Kiss scent. I love this. It's a very um, sweet, sweet berry scent. I definitely say kind of like a blackberry. Oh, raspberry, praline, and rose. That's how they describe it. And it is very sweet. You definitely get that sweet praline and sweet raspberry smell, but it's um, appropriate for all ages. It doesn't smell like too juvenile or kind of for teens. Okay, and the last one is the nail polish of the month that um, I've worn this quite often. And it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro Nail Polish in Burgundy Flirt. I don't know if it's going to focus on the name. There you go. It's a really pretty kind of dark um, red wine kind of color. It's really pretty um, and it does last for quite a while, not as long as the other colors that I have. I think just because it is a red. Um, but I've been wearing this really often this month. Okay, well that is all my beauty favorites. And I gotta move and show you my last favorite of the month. Um, so I'll be back in one sec. Okay, so I'm back. My last favorite of the month are my new fishies. So I got this little red cherry barb. And he's really cute. And then I hope you guys can be able to see this. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. But you see my algae eater? He's gold. We call him Jeeves because he cleans up after everybody. Um, oop, wrong way. I also have a striped tetra. He doesn't really have a name. <laughs> I don't know why we only name some of them. But there's also this new guy in the back. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see him, but he's a neon tetra. He's kind of like hot 
blue purple. Um, let me zoom out. I have always had a frog in here. His name's Senior Froggy, but I don't know if you guys... I think he's hiding in this one right here in this cave. It's like his favorite place in the world. Or, um, I have a little terracotta pot for him too. If you guys have a, a dwarf frog, those work really well. And then we have this little cave too. But, um, we also got a red shrimp, but I don't know where he is right now. Oh, he's right inside of here. Um, I'll zoom in, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to see him. Oh, there. You can kind of see him. He's like right inside the cave. Well, that's that, so. My last favorite is all of my new little fishies and animals, and definitely Senior Froggy, even though you guys can't see him. Oh, and there's the last fish he's hiding. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great... Um, had a great month of February, and if you guys want to leave any video responses or anything like that, comment down below. Please do that, and I'll get back to you. Okay, bye everybody.